how he's using his imagination and every single rascal is going to be differently decorating. Yes, of course. There is nothing predictable about Aldo Zilli. Aldo Zilli actually is full of surprises and each one of those little rascals is going to rise into a, a tremendous architectural creation with a very different topping. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my rascal. Perfect. The rascals go into the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Whilst they cook, Sylvana gets going with her rhubarb and vanilla jam. One kilo of rhubarb, one kilo of preserving sugar, about four or five tablespoons of pectin, and two vanilla pods. And this is it. Oh, I don't want the vanilla in. Amazing. So easy. Right, so. I'm going to rest it now. Yeah, it's looking stunning. She leaves the jam to cool and set and checks on her tea loaf. That's perfect, that's done, that's moist. That is amazing. You should not remove it immediately because it's still too hot. So I'm going to let it rest here for a while until it cools down and then I'll tip it over and it's done. But this is ready, this is good. So then are you ready to look at my rascals? Oh darling, show me my rascals. They smell good, don't they? They look like I want to eat them now with yeah. a bit of clotted cream. <laughs> Mamma mia, Marasco's ready! He's so excited. Aldo moves on to the sweet pastry base for his curd tart. He fills the case with baking beans and while it blind bakes, starts the filling. I've got some white sugar here. I've got some soft butter. I'm going to cream this butter. Lovely, into a lovely cream. And now I'm going to add my flour, my fruits. My raisins go in there. I've got some curd cheese here, which I'm going to add to this egg. This is very local. I'm going to zest a couple of lemons. A little touch of this nutmeg, just a little bit. Now let's start mixing this and mix the whole thing together. All I need now is my pastry case and I'm gonna fill it with this wonderful mix and then let's hope for the best. Aldo, your creation is ready now. Be careful now, don't drop it. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I've got some lemon cheese. Just spread this on the bottom. And then we're going to fill it. Oh, it smells really good. Right to the top. Well, I think this has got a chance, actually. Well, not tempt faith or anything. In the oven I go. I'm back your head now. No, I'm a bit worried about coming up and dropping it. Thank you. What would you do without me, really? Well, you know, I'm yes, from the oven. Not that you're me. very grateful. Not that you're very grateful. Oh, God. What you is know? she doing? I, 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 I love you, Goodbye, little cake. While the curd tart bakes, Sylvana makes a start on her tea cake decoration with fruit shaped marzipan. Using some orange marmalade, I'm going to place the top because I want to get those fruits stuck on the top. So this here, this is the perfect orange. I'm going to cut them in halves. And this makes the cake really, really just the most amazing creation. I mean, this is really quite delicious. I love marzipan. And now for the tricky bit. This is really quite special. This is edible. It's gold leaf, it's pure gold, 24 karat gold. Look at this, eating pure gold. Oh, it feels good. You can get used to it, really. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Oh, wow. That it looks really good, doesn't it? Look at this spring. This is good can texture I feel? inside. Yeah. Don't put your fingers through, but feel because it will teach you what the inside of a fruit loaf should be like. That's if I want to learn it. I think you should. You I saw? think it looks amazing. Well done, girl. Thank you so much. It means a lot That's when he says that. Very, very good. He finds it very difficult. That's my reason. winner. Can I borrow some gold? Oh, excuse me, no way. <laughs> no way. Oh. Now let's have a little check in the oven. See what the tart is doing. Oh, that's ready to go. It's wobbling in the middle. Mmm. Oh, the smell. Whew. Really, really good smell. It all looks delightful. And with everything ready for tomorrow's show, our couple relax with a nice cuppa. There's your cup of tea, love. My much. cake is done. Oh, thank you, darling. Salute. Cheers. This is our final show. Good luck to us tomorrow. Mm -hmm.
The Muka Show attracts huge crowds for a village so small. The reason it's so popular is clear. It's not just the stunning location and displays of animals. There's an exhibition tent where you show off your genius for growing veg, flair for flower arranging, gift for jewellery making and forte for food. Aldo and Silvena arrive clutching their entries and for Aldo it's getting too much. It gets to me as soon as I get to this point. It's it gets my stomach, you know, it's like a little nerves coming in. Yes, you may well have butterflies. Whoever gets the highest place today will win the week and the pressure's on, especially when they see the competition. This is very high standard. Look at those, look at those. Very high standard. It's extremely high standard. Mmm, time to get creative with their display. Look at this flan. Oh, oh. I put the gold leaf on yesterday and I wanted to put a little bit more today, but it still looks stunning anyway, so I'm very happy with that. Even though Silvana and Aldo are very competitive, she's willing to give him a hand because he's all fingers and thumbs. Now, the way we're going to arrange it is this way now. And we're going to put it like that. I knew she'd become useful at some point in my life. I knew she would become useful at some point in life. <laughs> Our duo know the person to beat is Leslie Calvert. She's won this category in the past, and not only is she a competitor, she's a steward. Yeah, it is quite strange when I've got produce in there that obviously I can't say anything. Um, and it's just, I think, please, <laughs> hope it wins. I just realised that the woman I was talking to and taking advice is the woman that is one year after year after year. So basically, I listen to nothing she says. And that is why when I asked her what do you think about mine, thinking she was the, the like the organizer here, she says, no, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Leslie isn't the only person to watch. There's another local cook, Jill Gurton. Yeah, I've got a loaf of brown bread and a jar of lemon curd. Last year I won a cup for my brown bread, which was quite amazing for me, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you two, hurry up. All up to them now. Well, Aldo, your fate may be with the gods, but the goddess you have to impress is Judge Val Punchard. She knows her baking. I have a little shop in Hawes. We sell sandwiches and a lot of home baked cakes and puddings. And she knows what she's looking for in a winning dish. Taste has got to overall presentation. Totally. <laughs> The Muka Silver Band arrives as the tent closes and the judging gets going. To take their minds off their fate, Aldo and Silvena go and get some sheepdog action. It's like marathon, it's like Olympics for sheep, I think, you know, because they're yeah, running very fast. I mean, fast. The, the dogs are so clever. Where do we start? Back in the tent, Val is approaching the bench where our chef's entries await her verdict. She judges blind. The entries are numbered and Val has no idea who's entered what. First up is steward, competitor and rival to our chefs, Leslie Calvert. That's nice. She stands back nervously and watches Val assess her work. I like this one. Very, very nice. And now it's Leslie's lemon curd. Val's not giving away much as she moves on to Jill Gurton's entry. She has the same two items on her breadboard. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's beautiful, that one. But Jill has won prizes for her brown bread before. Very, very good. Mmm, that lemon curd is excellent. Sylvana is next to get rated. Val starts with her jam. Rhubarb vanilla jam. Sounds very interesting. Wow, look at that. Mmm, that's gorgeous. Now she cast her eye at the 24 karat creation. I don't really want to do this. <laughs> it's presented so nicely. I can feel the moistness. Mmm, that's lovely. Really nice. Very, very moist. Chunky. I like chunky. That's good. Would love to sit down, afternoon tea, and eat that one. Oh, it's looking good for Sylvana. Now Aldo's tart gets the taste test. Mm. Lovely. Finally, it's crunch time for those rascals. Mm. 
it's something different. It looks homemade. It's very much a sort of farmhousey sort of style of baking and the sort of thing that you could imagine set out for afternoon tea, good, hearty and full of flavour. All the entries have been tasted, but it can still go anyway. Artusen re-enter the tent. Will it be a score draw? Whoever gets the highest place today will win the week. Oh my God! Well done, girl. Yes, yes, I can yes, see yes, a red yes. rosette. All I can say is that the people of Mucca have an impeccable taste. <laughs> wow! <laughs> but Aldo didn't lose out completely. He's got third prize. Well done, darling, as well, to you as well. How did our other contenders do? Leslie Calvert lost out to Sylvana and Aldo, but didn't do too badly in other categories. First prize with fruit cake. Um, I think it was my gingerbread, shortbread. So no, I'm, I'm pleased. And what about Jill Girton? She got second place. <laughs> I beat Aldo Zilly. <laughs> Hold on, what's this Sylvana spied? Best in section! Oh, I've got best in section! Best again, section. again! That's what the rosette's for! That's what the rosette's for! Oh my god, I'm so good at baking! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, all the best in section! Muka, I want to be back next year and defend my title. I love that. First and third? Still very not good. Bad, not bad. Come on, this was your massively best effort. Not you know bad. that. You not went bad. all the way. You baked. This is delicious. Well done. Thank you. Well, well, done. well done. You deserve it. If you want any that baking, was a big you want effort. Any baking lessons yes. in a way to come. <laughs> oh, well, those are tad embarrassed there. So, Sylvana gets three points for first place, plus an extra point for best in section, giving her four points today. Aldo's third place gives him one and a total of seven points for the week. That means Sylvana is this week's country show cook-off champ as she wins with ten points. Hurrah! As the Muka show draws to a close, the crowds head to the farmer's arms for the day's finale sing-along. It's been a roller coaster week for our double act. But that's it, no more gears. Oh, mamma mia. No more cream. With spills. Oh. Gold for Italy. And frills are plenty. Is my cup? Is my cup? Plus ups and downs. We've won nothing, dear. Neither oh, you or no. me. Screaming, Dad, screaming. Look at mine, that's perfection. So, what do our chefs take from their week on Country Show Cook Off? The categories have been quite sweet in this week. We've only had two savouries, and I've won both. So, it tells me that my strength is actually in savoury, not sweet. I was very excited about these competitions because this is diving into the heart of Britain. Because I've lived here for so long, I'm married to a British man. Yes, I'm foreign. Yes, I have the accent. But I've always wanted to be seen as British. And for me to win a quintessentially British food show, it's phenomenal. Thank you.